All right, welcome back. Today we're working on 46 Cadillac limousine. Um, yeah, beautiful car, uh, limited run. Uh, they made a couple hundred of these back in 1946. And uh, we're doing the interior. I'm going to walk you through it. Let's go check it out. you can see all right the interior obviously if you look back at my older videos I redid the seats in this but we're tearing this all out today we're gonna redo the floor new carpet front has nice still has nice leather seats got a couple of boo-boos in it here and there but we're, we're working on the floor we're going to rust encapsulate the, the metal and uh, the drivetrains in these were used in the uh, uh, World War II tanks, the Stewart, if I'm correct. If I'm not, you know, let me know. But uh, solid drivetrains. Beautiful cars. All right, let's get rolling. All right. Now, it brings me to this. This is what we use for painting the floor, rust encapsulator. Now, there are many brands. There's, uh, you know, Pour 30, there's Rust Oleum. I use Eastwood. Okay, this is the matte, matte black, whatever. This goes on my floor. Uh, I think every, every car I've restored got. Eastwood rust encapsulator. I have tried the other stuff. Uh, I just come back to this. It's not a, I'm not sponsored by it or anything, but it's a, it's a very good product. What it does, it takes the rust, the metal, and it actually uh, uh, turns the rust to just uh, eliminates it. And uh, then you can put your dyno mat on top, which is part two of doing a floor in an old car. Step one. Rust encapsulate. All right, we're using a product called Dynamat. After you encapsulate the floor uh, with the Eastwood Rust Encapsulator, I use Dynamat. It's a made in USA product. It's not Chinese. You don't put Chinese products in American car. Please don't do that. Anyway, it's a it's a uh, sound deadener. It's a it's a heat uh, def deflector. You put it up on your, uh, your firewall on the inside, put it in your trunk, put it in your doors, you know, keeps the sound out, road noise. Very great product. It's a little expensive. It's $200 a box, roughly. So, you know, nothing's cheap anymore. Very good product. This is what I use. You can use the knockoff version. It's not that much cheaper, so get the Dynamat USA product. Alright, let's go. Alright, let me give you a little glance here. This is the floor. We just encapsulated the floor with the Eastwood product. Very nice. It's going to dry to a dull matte finish. Once that dries, then we can put the dyno mat down and move to the back. I just love old cars, and uh, the more you dig into them, like I got, I got a good, you know, opportunity to to drink this car up today, get into it, tear it apart a little bit. Got the rear armrests out, and I mean, the metal, the, the woodwork on the car is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's. Uh, the way they built cars back then. What the fuck is going on? Alright, something cool. I found a, found a mouse nest in the uh, 46 Cadillac. I don't know. It just seems interesting to me. But in it was a newspaper from World War II. And I can see 
I read the, some of the chewed up clippings. It's about uh, Nazi Germany and flights to A-10, plane exploded. Pretty cool. Just, I don't know. Stuff that's cool. I don't know. All right, we got the rear of the 46 Cadillac all tore out. I want the armrests, all beat up armrests. We are gonna reupholster all these. I am gonna try to save the original zippers and all the other stuff that goes with it. And if you remember the seat, ready to go. Got the seats ready to go in this car. I just gotta get the interior prepped in order to get it back together. And uh, it's a snowball effect. Once you rip one thing out, and uh, you need to rip out everything. So we would continue on the build of the 46 Cadillac. Thanks for watching.